All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Cross Street Classics. Last episode we had was painting the hidden areas of the 70 Lincoln. So that was, uh, that was yesterday. Today we masked all those areas off and we're gonna get the whole car painted here. So we got everything laid out, everything wiped down, everything tacked off. Gonna get our sealer ready here, put a coat of sealer on everything and throw our base coat down and some clear today. So sit back and enjoy. And at the end of this video, we'll have a green Lincoln. Right, guys well I got three coats of base on the car got it, got it where I wanted at and ran into a bit of a snag I was finishing up my last coat on the hood and my air compressor started making a funny noise and my motor started smoking on it so I need to locate another motor for this it was blown blown smoke out of here so I'm hopefully I can get another mother motor for it soon uh, if this sits more than 24 hours I have to scuff the whole car repaint the whole car before I can clear it all right guys we're back here uh, got our compressor fixed uh, the base coat sat for over 24 hours, so I had to scuff the whole thing up, which was okay. I had a couple spots of dirt I wanted to get out anyway, so we're going to throw another coat of base on here and maybe get the clear on tonight. So let's get going.
guys. After a few days, a couple hiccups here, we finally get the clear on our Lincoln. That's three coats of the Ditzler 5700, the Vibrance line. I uh, turned my other lights off here, but you can see it got a real nice reflection right out of the gun. Got a little bit of dirt in it, but you'll have that. I don't have a booth, so these are the kind of things you got to put up with not having the proper facilities to do this kind of stuff in. You can hear my feet sticking to the floor as I'm walking across here. Let me turn my, let me turn my lights back on. Turn this side off here. I'm getting ready to close up. But a little bit of, a little bit of orange peel. Nice factory, factory look. I don't like, I don't like wet sanding, so I like a little bit of orange peel. I'll probably just knock these nub, dirt nubs down. But all in all, I'm very happy with it. Like I said, we had a few hiccups. Compressor quit. <laughs> and it just par for the course. But I think it was, I think it was a good thing that it did. Um, you know, I, I got a little bit of dirt in the base coat. And I'm glad that I was able to uh, wet sand it back out. But, like I said, real nice, real nice reflection. Um, talk a little bit here about the clear. Don't mind my paint mess here. This is the 5700 Ditzler from the Vibrance Collection. This stuff, real nice. Um, and uh, my Harbor Freight. HTE Spectrum Black Widow gun. A couple cars I've painted with this. Really, really like this gun. Um, it's a 1.3 nozzle. Um, and it really lays it down nice. I did the base and clear with it. And then I ended up buying this here uh, system that allows these um, disposable cups from Harbor Freight. Really nice. This is the only thing you keep and this this adapter here. Um, really works good for uh, for what we did here with it. So I'm um, glad you so I'm glad you stay tuned for this. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're uh, really coming along with this Lincoln. As I paint this, this is um, October 22nd. I'm sorry, this is October 26th. Um, we just kind of really started on this car back in July. You know, we did all the metal work and stuff on it. So the next thing we're going to do is do the blackout areas, uh, the firewall, the, the rockers, um, wheel lips. I'm sorry, the rockers and the and the, the rear trunk drop off and then up in the uh, that rear cow area that gets blacked out and then we're going to get the underside undercoated. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.